With parents like Al Roker and Deborah Roberts, there's no question that Leela Roker is destined for great things. So what's the daughter of America's weatherman interested in? Here's what we know about Leela Roker, who's grown up to be seriously gorgeous. For some couples, getting pregnant is easy. But for the many other couples who struggle with infertility, getting pregnant and carrying a baby to term can be extremely difficult. The latter was the case for Roker and Roberts, who have been open about their reproductive struggles. That's why, after losing one pregnancy after the two-month mark, they turned to in vitro fertilization the second time around. It worked, and Roberts got pregnant again. Roker told Guideposts, this time, I was afraid to be too happy. I prayed every day, asking God to keep my wife and our unborn child in his hands. Nine months later, Roker's prayers were answered, when at 9.17 a.m. on Tuesday, November 17, 1998, Leela Ruth Roker was born. Of course, Roker was overcome with gratitude, saying in the same interview, Science may have helped us on our path to pregnancy, but it couldn't get us all the way to the end. The only thing that could do that was the power and grace of God. In 2016, the world got an intimate look at Leela's life on The Today Show when the pair ventured out together to Sequoia National Park for their first ever camping trip. And both of them admit that they were surprised when Leela agreed to go, given her personality. As Leela put it, I am a city kid. So, like camping, I'm not good at that. Oh, listen to that engine purr, baby. Let's drive nice and slow. Leela really wasn't lying about being out of her element in the woods either, observing, there are animals and trees everywhere, and I really don't like birds because I'm afraid one will poop on my head. City bird or a country mouse, Leela couldn't hide her wonder when she and her dad got to see American black bears up close and personal just waking up from their winter hibernation. Plus, watching the duo try to set up a tent? Priceless. New York City arguably offers some of the best people-watching opportunities in the world, given that it's an international destination. So it's not surprising that Leela Roker has become something of a fashionista, able to put together killer looks with the best of them. So what's her fashion philosophy? Roker told Footwear News that, My style is fluid. Sometimes I like to be girly, and other times I like to be edgier. Some weeks I'll wear a lot of skirts, other weeks I'll wear tomboyish styles. Roker may be becoming a trendsetter, but she learned from the very best. She cites several celeb fashion idols, including Rihanna, Kylie Jenner, and Khloe Kardashian. You can't say she's not ambitious when it comes to fashion. As is all too real in the age of social media, becoming famous can make you a target of haters, especially if you're a woman. That's something Roker unfortunately has had to deal with, although she's not afraid to confront people and shut them down when need be. In fact, that's exactly what she did in an Instagram post she made in 2017, saying, I can wear what I want and do what I want, to clap back against the bullies who called her names. She also pointed out that she looks a lot better and has done a lot more in life than her trolls, which is painfully obvious to anyone paying attention. Still, Roker understands what kind of impact these hateful actions can have, quipping sarcastically in her Instagram post, Thank you for continuing to be the barriers that set women back in being imprisoned by their looks. One of the most important decisions in a young adult's life is where to go to college, something Roker stressed about back in 2016. But of course, any worry she had was unfounded, as she was accepted to the University of Southern California's Class of 2021, according to a since-deleted post on her Instagram page. Additionally, because Roker clearly knows how to live, she decided to spend her first year studying abroad at the American University of Paris. And while that sounded pretty close to paradise, Roker was open about some of the difficulties she faced, which are more complex than your usual freshman problems. Saying to Forbes magazine, By spending my freshman year studying in Europe, I faced an even bigger culture shock. I was suddenly faced with what it was like to be a young black woman in a predominantly white European world. Roker's dad may be America's weatherman, but it doesn't look like she'll be following in the meteorologist's footsteps. Rather, Roker is shaping up to take after her mother when it comes to her fledgling career. That's right, she's a self-professed journalist, according to her LinkedIn page. Looks like her ABC journalist mother, Deborah Roberts, had a real impact. Rather than waiting until finishing college to get real-world experience, Roker has been busy writing for several different outlets. For one, she's contributed several articles to Peacock Plume, the student newspaper for the American University of Paris, for which she's also served as a deputy editor. Additionally, she's been published in Footwear News and Forbes, and has interned for Paper Magazine. Notably, in June 2020, she became a freelance contributor for Today.com. That's a pretty impressive resume for someone her age. 
During her first few weeks of college life, Roker saw that something was out of place. Explaining to Forbes, I began to realize that many of the people around me held antiquated views on how men and women should carry themselves, and specifically what the standards were for acceptable male behavior. This, in turn, led to another revelation. I was suddenly faced with having to create my own definition of what is considered to be sexual harassment and assault. But rather than be overwhelmed or rest on her laurels, Roker sprang into action. She reached out to It's On Us, a nonprofit organization started by the Biden Foundation. As a digital fellow, she worked with her university to prevent assault on campus. That is a prime example of leadership. In addition to all of her noble pursuits, Leela Roker is no stranger to the gym. And in June of 2018, she diversified her exercise portfolio, as if she wasn't already busy enough, saying on Instagram, just completed a yoga teaching program, and in a couple of weeks, I'll have yoga teacher certification. The certification process was transformative for her too, bringing positive new energy into her life. As she put it, so thankful for the life-changing people and their souls I've met on this journey. Judging from the way those headstands are coming along, maybe we'll see more yoga selfies in the future. When Leela Roker enrolled at the University of Southern California, she figured she'd attend the school after spending her freshman year abroad. But as it turns out, after living in Paris for that first year, the city began to grow on her. Leela explained her decision on her blog. I realized that while yes, there were some culture shocks, it still felt like I seemed to find my niche. My French was flourishing, I was finding promising opportunities and meeting students from a different country every day. It helped that as a journalist interested in fashion, there was no shortage of interesting events to cover. Paris Fashion Week, anyone? It's not surprising then that Roker made the decision to put her California plans on the shelf after doing some serious soul-searching, saying, I finally made the decision, Paris was for me. While her father was generally supportive of her decision after seeing her so happy in her adopted home, Roker's mother was less than thrilled. But in the end, her family agreed that the City of Lights was the place for her. Hey, Dad. I am in empty Paris, um, getting some groceries, and I just wanted to check in and tell you I love you. If there's one thing that Leela Roker hasn't been shy about, it's that living as a black woman anywhere in the world comes with a unique set of challenges. That's something she's dealt with for her entire life thanks to systemic racism. She wrote in an article for People that, From an early age, you start to notice on your own that your teachers and classmates speak to you a little differently. So when the world learned about George Floyd's death at the hands of Minneapolis police officers, Roker just couldn't stay silent. Rather, she implored people to stand up for what's right, saying, It's time for us to go beyond hashtags and take action. It's really important that we vote. Call our local representatives to demand change and make donations if you are not comfortable protesting. She added that it's no longer okay to spend time with people who think that everything is fine and that holding people accountable is paramount if you want real change to happen. While Leela Roker has made Paris her home, she didn't just settle in and never leave the city. Rather, before the 2020 pandemic hit, Roker was quite the world traveler. In fact, just before everything shut down in March of 2020, Roker was soaking up the sun in Tunisia, according to a post on her Instagram page. And just before that, in November of 2019, Roker rang in her 21st birthday in Amsterdam. Additionally, Roker enjoyed time by the sea in Croatia in August of 2019, the perfect time to visit the country. That same month, she was seen in Greece because, well, why not if you're just around the corner? That was after visiting Copenhagen in Denmark back in March of 2019, as well as spending some time in Morocco around the same time. Prior to this, Roker visited Abu Dhabi with her father on an assignment from today. We wonder where she'll go next. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.